And there's actually quite a number of videos. We just don't show them. I discovered this one site that actually shows a lot of these happening on a daily basis. So this one happened, Waymo drove onto the Metro rail tracks and got stuck on the line, forcing the passenger to escape and run across the roadway. This no safe words X account tracks as many of these Waymos and Zooks situations. Wow. Um, on the track, wow. what an idiot. Here comes the train. Okay, I'll pause it there. But Elon replied and he just simply said, you know, it's a tough situation. I don't know if that means a tough situation for a Waymo or, hey, this, this I, I, I think happen. it is a tough situation. I, you know, I don't think you can take um, any pleasure in seeing that. I mean, it's going to happen to a robot taxi for sure. Uh, something of that nature. Be ready, you know, as robot taxis scale, be ready to have this kind of problem from time to time, just as you're going to have with Waymo from time to time. It's just the reality. Look, there are 40,000 deaths a year in the United States with human drivers. There are going to be a number, 10,000, 20,000, 30. We think, we believe, and, and we wouldn't be doing this if otherwise, but we believe there's going to be a lower number, a significantly no, lower number with robot taxis, but there's going to be a number. And there's going to be the first death, and then there's going to be, you know, the first multiple deaths, and then there's going to be a death count. On the other hand, it's going to be significantly lower, we believe, and, and, and evidence seems to point that way, that it's going to be lower than the current death count. But we have to get used to this exchange of risk. And, you know, we're not, as a society, very well aligned with this kind of thinking. You know, if it's automated, it has to be zero deaths. If it's human, okay, 40,000 deaths, 40, what's, what's 40,000? You know, it's, it's exactly. weird, but that's just the reality. So I think what Elon is saying is it's a tough situation, but I think if you look behind what he's saying, it's just a tough, you know, it's a tough sale because of this problem and because of what we will make of this problem rather than the reality of the problem. That's a very good perspective. Of course, I believe the same thing. Anything lower than 40,000 deaths is worth it. We think that autonomous driving will be not only safer than humans, it'll be much safer. So maybe right now it's five times safer, but eventually it'll be 10, 20, and eventually it'll be, you know, 100%. That's the track yeah. that we're headed towards. But, you know, I just wanted to point out that everybody thinks that Waymo is perfect. Oh, take a look at Waymo's interventions and Tesla's is worse. No, you just don't, uh, you know, anytime a Waymo does something, you don't track it. This is another thing that happened on the same day. Waymo does a complete shutdown, blocking traffic and pedestrians. You know, an officer had to stop and uh, help them. This is obviously a operational failure. The fact that you can't get into the vehicle, that, you know, the, the fact that the re remote operator is unable to move the vehicle or that the officer can't get into a vehicle, this is obviously a problem. Um, and I wonder how Tesla will address this, perhaps providing um, law um, enforcement a means to use uh, an app to open the car or to communicate with a control. Th those are interesting possibilities. I think she's using an app there, right there, right? Yeah, I don't know. She's done. Uh, could be calling not, somebody. She, uh, yeah. yeah, she called Something somebody happened. to open the car. That's exactly what happened, yeah. And then they were able to get in to, to drive it away. Yeah. So there you go. That's. I mean, it, this is happening all over. Should we use even Zooks? Here's another one. I'll turn off the, the music because I don't know if it's fake, but basically... There was a, you know, the, the Waymo stopped and it caused traffic. And then there's yep. an emergency vehicle that was stopped. Yep. So these things do matter, but it is happening. Yeah, and we, you know, we shouldn't take any comfort as, as Tesla supporters from that happening. We, we should be supportive, but it points to operational issues, you know. So the operational issue is these events are going to have happen. Operation excellence means you have to be able to intervene in these events one way or another in a way that is that is rapid that is automated and that is reliable neither of these 
neither of these capabilities appear to be implemented in the Waymo solution at this point. Waymo's are not able to recognize emergency vehicles. That was shown as well. So just the whole point about what Tesla is doing and why they're taking so much longer than Waymo, if they wanted to, they could have just done it the same way. But they're trying to solve for many of these things first before they roll out. Well, the reason they're taking longer than Waymo is very simple. They're trying a generalized, they're trying to achieve a generalized solution rather than a mapped solution, number one. Number two, they're trying to achieve a solution with a standard vehicle, not with a modified and highly, uh, you know, uh, uh, expensive or implemented vehicle. And, and the third is very simple. They're trying to do it in, in a way that is operationally, uh, uh, you know, scalable. Right now, the Waymo solution, we've determined, we've done the numbers, it's not scalable. What Tesla are doing is a completely different thing to what Waymo is doing. And really, in a way, it's completely different as well to, to you know, what NVIDIA is trying to do. So, Elon, you know, the, the man is a genius product manager. He's a genius product manager because he can imagine a product far, f far into the future and far more generally than the average person can. This is the, the skill of a product manager. He takes it to the next level. So when you think about a generalizable solution that is not dependent upon some enormously expensive equipment, in fact, can be done on a dramatically less expensive vehicle, then you're talking about a different product entirely. And this is what I keep trying to explain to people. It's very hard for them to gauge. You know, they keep talking about LIDAR this and radar that and whatever. The point is we're looking for a generalizable solution, and that's really where we're at with with uh, Tesla. Now, you say they're somewhat behind Waymo. That may be true because Waymo started like, you know, 10 years, I think it was 10 years before Tesla. But, but more importantly, it's a different product. It's an entirely different product. People don't understand that. But that's what people are still saying just because they're on the, on the, uh, on the roads now. But Waymo is continuing to expand you know, move forward. They actually have rolled out their Waymo sixth generation hardware. <laughs> but take a look at this. Even the sixth gen hardware is still not, not the best. So if, first of all, they unveiled their new RoboTaxi van. They also have a Hyundai Ionic 5 RoboTaxi. So they're switching over from the Jaguars. And they're calling this new RoboTaxi van Ohi. It's the new sixth gen hardware, 13 cameras, six radars four LIDARs. And then they have these sensors, uh, heaters, wipers, and sprayers to help keep the sensors clean, these wipe, which is cool, little tiny little things. Built by Chinese automaker Zeker. So again, when it's imported to the US, I don't know what the tariffs are there, 100% tariffs. And then they're uh, retrofitted at Waymo's facility. So they take the Zeker, bring it in there. This is what the vans look like. Not terrible, but huge, huge things, just as usual. Massive things that they, you know, you can see, you can see, sense the expense. I have to import a van into the United States of America. I, I yep. think, I think, you know, I think that should be outlawed. And that should absolutely be outlawed. I, I'm, I'm really stunned. <laughs> I, I think it should be outlawed. I mean, th there is no way we should be importing cars into this country and certainly not from China. What it, I mean, yeah, These Chinese problem. vehicles are being, you know, they're being supported by the Chinese government in so many ways. I don't even want to count the ways because some of them get very deep into the electronics and, and, into, and the finances and so on. But there is no way we should be importing Chinese cars into this country. None at all. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Just last week, I don't know if you saw this story, it was obscure. In the UK, the buses that they import from China, they were discovered to have code that could, the back, back end code that can shut down all the buses. <laughs> can you imagine, I mean, I, it just, it just, it just boggles my mind. We should not be trading 
with China in any strategic product, and one of the most strategic products is self-driving vehicles. Yeah. Now, so now it could be argued they're just providing the vehicle and and Waymo's fitting the you know sensors, but that's not the issue. I, I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked, and I'm shocked at Google that they're going to do this. Yeah, I don't know why they chose Zeker of all of all choices, but it's a good looking. Man, it looks great. Lots of space. It looks like here, but look at it. There's actually no steering wheel. So maybe that is what they plan to do same time later in the future, or maybe this is just a mock-up. This is just a video of what that looks like. So it'd be well, cool. Let's see when, when the Zeke is arrive and let's see what happens. But I, I, yeah, this is the I'm Hyundai just... Ionic mm -hmm. 5 that they, and it looks pretty good too. Again, not as bad as the ones that they have now, but this is what it will look like in the future. And I think I saw in the, uh, I don't have the photos of what they showed on CES, but apparently that looks even better now. So they're well, doing the best. I definitely support the acquisition of Korean vehicles. I would prefer that they be manufactured in the United States. Right. Um, but, you know, I don't have any problem with uh, buying a Korean vehicle, but to actually buy a Chinese vehicle and have it running around our roads, my God, what are we thinking?